Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Scrap Masters Paradise, and today I am doing a scrap room tour for you guys. I'm not going to go into like every drawer or container because they are not quite organized yet, but I will tell you like the general areas of things and talk about things as we go around the room. So first up, this is a loft space in our house. It's a two-story house, and I am sharing this room with Livy and her playroom stuff. I'm gonna do just a quick pan around the room to talk about, you know, how the room is set up. So starting at the edge of my scrapbook area, we've got the stairs down there, kids' rooms, bathroom, and then we start getting into playroom stuff here. We've got lots of stuffed animals. She has a little basket there that her and her daddy play with, um, putting down the rail and then bringing back up. They like to play paper airplanes and maybe you can see some in the little nook thing. We get some stuck there from time to time, but that's one of their fun things they do. They play paper airplanes up and down from here and it's fun to use the basket to bring them back up. And then going into the bulk of all her toys and things, we've got two of the Kalax units from Ikea. They're just the four by two shelves. I finally ended up going to Ikea and getting those for this space. And we've got our old TV stand. This is from Target from years and years ago. It's one of the first pieces of furniture Johnny and I bought. It's gotta be like 13 or 14 years ago by now. So I'm sure it's long gone from the stores by now or they've updated it to be something different, but we have had that thing forever and you can tell it's dinged up around the edges, but it's a pretty solid piece. So we have yet to get rid of it, even though we don't really need it or want it anywhere. It's good for here just to have the TV on there, but we've got lots of books along the top of the shelf. It's basically all the books that aren't currently downstairs or in her room. And then now I've been putting the baby board books in the baby's room for when she gets here as well. And then all the toys are in the blue boxes. I also picked those up at Ikea as well. They're super cheap there. They do have boxes that fit that at Target. And I've got a few of those as well, just not in this room. So they're really nice storage units. They hold a ton of stuff. They aren't all the way full yet, which is great. And then I have all her boxed things like around there as well. She's got activities that we pull out one at a time and then clean back up before we get something else out. And then that starts the edge of my scrapbook room. So I'm gonna try to back up and show you guys the whole thing in one vision here. So my desk actually goes along the entire wall and into this corner over here. It's three desktop pieces from Ikea. They are Linmons, but they're different sizes of them. I've got the corner, the extra long one, and then the shortest one. So they're all different prices and different sizes. I'll try to link to these exact ones down below. Sometimes they don't have the shortest one in stock and they have one like next size up. So I will do my best to at least give you guys the dimensions of those, but they happen to fit this wall really, really well. I don't know, I just lucked out because you can see there's a couple of inch gap at that side, but that's it. So it really takes up this whole wall and it's so nice to have it, you know, be right under these beautiful windows. We are back to a green space. So there's just trees and nature out there. I'll watch the birds fly by. It's just a beautiful little space back there. And so, I've got it kind of separated out into different sections. I've got more of die cutting stuff here. I've got Big Shot stuff. The Cameo is hooked up there. And then this is actually my work surface and all the stuff within easy reach for me to scrapbook and card make over here. Like I've said in all of my videos recently, I am pregnant. I'm almost 30 weeks pregnant as of filming this. So I have not done a single scrapbooking thing, but I feel pretty accomplished getting this room set up and as organized as it is, it still needs more help. But I've got all my same desktop things. I'll get closer as we go through the more detailed section. And then I have my Kalax unit here. This is just a four by four. It's the same kind of shelf as the ones behind me that are the two by fours. They're just different configurations. And I've had this one for quite a while now as well. And then the desk is a combination of the legs. I think they're Adils. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or even spelling that right, but I've got the legs. I think they are like three or four bucks a piece, super duper cheap. And then some of them are also on these Alex drawers. And they do have an Alex drawer with a file cabinet insert, but you have to turn your files not the way that they would be turned in a normal file box. So like the files would not be straight like this. They would have to be sideways. And I did not like that. So I went ahead and got the ones that are just the drawer units. 
So that gives you the basic setup. I've got a lot of these like Sterilite plastic drawer units. These are just from random places in our house that we didn't need them in anymore. So I do have these organized and labeled. I'm just gonna go ahead and start over here and walk through everything and I'll walk through what's in those drawer units as we get there. I'm gonna go ahead and move this chair out of the way. We did pick up a bunch of these same chairs at Staples. I picked one up on a good price and I wanted to go get another one. They had them clearanced, so now we, I think we have five of these. They're just like scattered throughout the house. They're super comfortable and they have been clearanced and I don't think they make them anymore, but they're just a beautiful teal and white combo, which I really liked. And so we have them everywhere in our house now. <laughs> so I have two up here, one for Liv, one for me. I moved it out so you could see the drawer unit underneath and I also have that shelf. Previously in the other house, I had that shelf hooked to my camera overhead mount and that way I could film overhead and I'll walk through my overhead mount setup that I have currently. It's different. We are renting this house, so I did not want to hang up something that had those big giant screw bolt things. So we just left it there for now. Next time we move, I definitely plan on hanging that up. I really liked it being right over my desk. It was really convenient, way more convenient than my setup now, but this is a temporary setup. So I wanted to not invest much into it. So in the unit here, I've got some diamond painting and cross stitch stuff in the top box. And then I've got extra supplies. I have an extra guillotine trimmer, extra DVD style stamp cases, extra scrubbing pads, and extra little iris containers for embellishments and things. And then the bottom is glue sticks and color swatches. I have still like Pantone color swatch books from when I ran my stamp company. I still have all those because they're expensive and I like flipping through the colors sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, I really like colors. So I like to come up with color combos using those as well still. And then up on the top here, I've got my Big Shot stuff and I can't get closer, I'm stuck to the wall with the cord. So this is all Big Shot stuff. I've got larger pieces on top, extra of the little cutting things. And then in here is just paper and I pulled out a bunch of paper. I did a paper purge and I'd have like one or two sheets of certain colors and I just cut them up for Olivia so that they would work with the Big Shot. She loves playing with the Big Shot. I also had some actual files. I just cut them up as well. You can see the tabs are still on the top but they work great for, you know, die cutting for her. And I had some scrap paper that I had between my eight by my eight and a half by 11s. When I had my eight and a half by 11s stored in magazine files, I used these as dividers. So I just cut them down, cut the dividers off of them. And so now she has tons of paper out there and then all of the wafer thin dies and, and embossing folders and things. Some of them come in folders like this from Stampin' Up. They're just all in here random now because she comes in here and plays. So they're not all stuck to the magnet sheets or organized at all. This is just her little section. And then back here, she actually has an Easter basket. And I have these stamping images that I stamped so that I could travel and cope it color. But she has discovered she really likes these. So she will grab some of these and color them and show them off to me. Some of them are old SPN Company stamps. Like that's, an, that's another SPN Company stamp. And then some of them are other stamp companies. It's just a giant bag of things. I grab a chunk of these and take them with me when we would travel. And then she's got her die cut shapes in here until she makes things with them. She'll grab these for um, different art projects that she's doing. She'll glue them, color them, draw on them. See, she's got some drawing things in here. It's just her little creative space. And of course, I come in here and use it if I want to, but I haven't, I haven't been scrapbooking. So actually she's used this area way more than I have. I've got my silhouette cameo there with just a cutting mat in case I need to do anything with that. And then I've got the drawer unit here. I have mostly planner stuff in the top sections of this. I'll show you guys. It's not been organized at all and everything got mushed around when we moved. So I haven't even like straightened it up at all. It's just shoved in here crazy like. I need to still go through all of those. So it's still a madhouse in there. I've got extra art supplies for her, like extra crayons, markers, like foam pieces and stuff. Anything we'll use for like kids arts and craft go in that top shelf. And then we've got perler beads in the bottom too. We really have gotten into perler beads lately. So we have lots of those now. And then on this side, we've got ribbon in the top, tool and twine in the middle section. And then photos in that bottom one. I still have a ton of four by six photos and things. And I also have a box of film that needs to be developed in there as well. It's just something that we have not done. We've kept these rolls of film and I don't even know what's on them. They're from 
before Johnny and I even got together. I don't even know if they are still good. I don't even know if it's easy to get film developed anymore. So they've just kind of been sitting there just in case I decide one day to get those developed. I really don't know what's on them. So it's kind of like, I don't want to spend the money to get them developed when it could be like 5,000 pictures of my dog. <laughs> I really don't know. So anyway, moving on, here is the section. I've got my basic desktop section set up like I've had in previous houses. And those are all from Target, Dollar Spot, years and years back, before we even moved to Austin. So going on three years now, I picked those up and they're just like thick cardboard material with the colorful papers on the outside. And they've held up pretty well. They get dinged up here and there. You can see they're not exactly even, but they hold a lot of good stuff in there. And then I decided to move my ink pad storage over here. This is from Organize More and it holds my ink pads. And I was gonna film a planner video after this. So I've got my planner stuff there, my tea there. And then my cutting board is an old Stampin' Up! one. It's made by Tonic Studios and Tonic still does sell this trimmer, but Stampin' Up! does not. So I will link to a Tonic one. I've loved this trimmer and I've had it for years and years now and it still works great. It's that self-sharpening kind that you never have to get new blades for. And then again, another one of the teal chairs are right here. I'm gonna move this out of the way. All right, I moved the chair out of the way so you can see I have two trash cans here. The pink is for recycling and then the white is for actual garbage. So we try to recycle and I always have paper scraps and things. So it's great to have a recycle bin right there so I don't have like a stack of stuff to recycle sitting on the desk. I found in the last house, it was so much nicer to just have a dedicated recycle bin up in my scrap area. And then again with the desk, it's not, that organized. The top is more like essential things and um, I also have some extra label tape and my labeler in here and then I've got alphabets that still look scrambled up because I haven't gone through any of this. Stamps, embellishments, and more stamps that have also been scrambled up so you can see it's just not been messed with at all. And then this is actually something I worked on for quite a while down here. This is my paper storage. So I talked about this in a previous video, but I changed everything to the file storage and I really, really like it like this. I've had to make a couple of birthday cards and things for Livy's friends and neighbors as well. So I have pulled things from here and it's been really easy to grab what I needed. So that pretty much covers the desk. I will also link to this giant cutting mat. I really like having it covering a lot of my surface. Last time I had the cutting board go like across my desk this way, I have it pushed up against this corner side because that's where I film now. You guys can see my overhead mount set up right there. I've got the light. I have two of these. The other one's just sitting up here, not plugged in yet. But I have this one in case I want to film at night, which I have done a couple of times since moving here. And then I have my overhead mount hanging down from the shelf. And the way my desk is situated, it's just so much easier to have it coming out straight so I can shoot down right here. Where my planner stuff and my iPad are currently, I film right there. So it's easier to just have the mat set up for filming versus for actual practical scrapbooking. So now I'm gonna zoom in on the actual um, overhead mount. It's really just jerry-rigged right now. This is a tripod quick release that's the exact same tripod as what my camera is sitting on now. I'll show it to you guys. This is the actual tripod. So I extended it all the way up using this little lever, trimmed the tripod with a saw, and just have the top piece as my overhead now. And this is actually, this is actually an Amazon Basics. I just got two of the same ones so I could use the same quick release and I can stick my tripod or I can stick my camera here or on the other one. There's what the tripod looks like. And this is also my camera AC adapter so I don't have to keep recharging batteries. I can just plug right into the outlet and have as much juice as I need. Still need to vacuum in here though. Also, I film all of my sit down videos sitting here in just one of the blue chairs. I just have my camera sitting there and film looking in to here. So it's really nice to be able to, you know, move back and forth between the cameras. Uh, let's see. It's really nice to be able to move back and forth between the tripods and I can just film my sit down videos there, my overhead mount videos here, and I'm set up really well for filming, especially. I've done, I've done way, way more filming than I've done actual scrapping. And we used that and clamped it on my overhead mount shelf I had in the last house. So I still had this piece. I didn't want to have to buy a whole new tripod to have it, you know, extending out. So Johnny just paid a couple bucks because the tripods are like 20 bucks. But Johnny just paid a couple bucks and got a PVC pipe 
it was a little bit too big to stick this in and I didn't want to make it anything permanent since once we moved to the next house, so I used the shelf clamp system again. So I just shoved a piece of a washcloth in here to tighten this piece with the PVC pipe so it will stay put. It looks kind of silly, it's kind of weird, but it actually works. And then this piece of ribbon, I actually tie my camera AC adapter and also um, the cord for that and also the um, camera cord thing. This is like the neck shoulder cord for my camera. It hangs down, so I just use that string and tie both of those up so that they are out of the way. And looking over this way, you can see it goes pretty far the length of the top shelf there. And then I also have a little T bracket here at the end to kind of keep it level and stable instead of letting it wobble all over the place. And then I have some weights on the end to weigh it down and keep it up there. And that's pretty much it as far as the overhead mount. It's totally rigged, it's totally temporary, it doesn't look the best. Until we have a permanent home and a permanent solution, this was the way I came up with it for now and it works really well. So moving on to the shelf, this is pretty much set up very similarly to our last house. I moved a couple of things around, so I wanna make note of that. I've got all my 12 by 12s down there. They're organized by year. This is more of the in progress style area. I've got all of my 12 by 12 papers in here. I have been putting together my own scrapbook kits and I also have been getting the Echo Park kits. So they are right in that little section there. And then I've got the 2018, 2019 started there. The 2018's almost done except the traditional pages. I've got all the 12 by 12 Project Lifestyle pages in there printed out. And then 2019 has just begun, even though we're over halfway through the year now. I've got giveaway and extra stuff in there. My air compressor is in there. I've got old memorabilia and stuff in there. I need to go through and actually stick it in some of these, uh, some of these books, early yearbooks, because it's like drawings from my childhood and things like that. I also have a binder. This is a family binder, and it has like warranty and instruction manuals for any sort of thing in the house. I've got planner-related stuff, and then like actual scrappy scrapbooks. These are like my first scrapbooks ever. You can see the years on that, but it's like my prom in Colorado with my <laughs> prom date there. Looking at college stuff, just very actual scrapbook, scrappy thing, taking things out of magazines and pictures and things. I've got one before meeting Johnny and also one with Johnny. And we used to put things in here like, what's that? Like a Valentine's Day balloon is still in here. So we looked at look at these every once in a while but this is like my first dabble in actual scrapbooky type stuff so I wanted to keep those up here as well and then I've got planner stuff uh, the first and only magazine I've ever been published in I've got two copies of that I plan on taking my page out and framing it at some point one of the biggest changes is I have my photo printer right on the shelf so I can print and grab them right here instead of having that on a different little shelf across the room makes it really convenient to have it there and then this is in progress when I've got some project life cards I still need to go through I've been trying to give a lot of those to Olivia to work on because I don't use those very much anymore and then I also have some more magazine files back there that used to be my 12 by 12 papers in that box and probably spilling into this next box as well but I moved them to the filing system so they're no longer in here it freed up a lot of space on my shelf and then stuff up there still is a work in progress I've got like old shipping supplies shipping labels some pictures of us together my sewing machines up there it's just kind of randomness up there right now I think that is it as far as scrap room tour I've been up here you know like I said a few times making cards for neighbors and um, kids and things so I have been up here scrapbooking just a little bit a little bit of that card making but I haven't done a whole lot so I will tweak it as I go as I actually get using it I feel like once baby is here I'll really be able to have more energy and time dedicated to this so that's definitely my plan moving forward so I hope you guys liked this look at the scrap room slash playroom tour be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you next time thanks for watching bye